What's up blockchain gang? Today I wanted to cover a new game coming to the WeMix blockchain next year called Blade Reaction. In the spirit of clever wordplay, I'm going to do a reaction video to some Blade 2 trailer and gameplay footage and talk about the studio behind the game and how it may affect players of other WeMix blockchain games as well. If you missed the announcement, WeMix CEO set a target goal of adding 100 games to the WeMix blockchain over the next year, and to my knowledge, this is the first one that has been confirmed. Please insert your snarky comments about the bots here. When I first heard about Blade Reaction developed by Action Square during the CEO's speech at the Korean Game Society, I immediately thought about Wesley Snipes slaying supernatural scumbags using his vampire strength while exposing their weaknesses, of which he suffers none. And I got excited, because his only weakness is his heart, literally and metaphorically. I started doing a little digging, and while I was disappointed it was not that Blade, it was interesting to say the least. The original game in the series, called Blade for Kakao, was the first mobile game to ever win the Korean Game Awards annual grand prize in 2014. Not to be confused with NCSoft's Blade and Soul that won in 2012, or Three Kingdoms Blade, also developed by Action Square. I can only assume the Korean language has at least 14 different words for blade, and that doesn't translate well, or these companies are just really bad at coming up with original names. Action Square then came out with a sequel called Blade 2, The Return of the Evil. That's right, not just any old evil, but the evil. See what I mean? This will be important later. They also recently released a new game called Anvil into early access on Steam to mixed reviews. But mixed reviews on Steam mean less to me than stars on a restaurant because I have no idea why they are judged by a fucking tire mascot. D does he eat out a lot? I found out much of this information from a fellow YouTuber with a channel by the name of IceX Games. So make sure to check them out and subscribe as they seem to have great sources for this information to have obtained this knowledge weeks before I heard about it. I like to think maybe he snuck into the We Made HQ one night in order to dig up some dirt and blackmail billionaire CEO Henry Chang with it, but he got trapped in the basement by the automated security system. But that doesn't stop him from posting new videos all the time though, on BDO and leaking any new Mirror 4 content he can scrounge up. Stay strong, Isex game. Help is on the way. Their new game that marks the trilogy in the series will not use the same token as Mirror 4, which is called the Draco, but instead its own token that can be purchased with Wemix. This means that it should cause the price of the Wemix token to go up as well as the Draco to push temporarily, as more people are exposed to the game through cross-promotion. This will probably be a permanent gain for Wemix holders and a temporary boost for Draco holders as it falls back down to the newly perceived value. This was already observed on the decks with the Cryptornado and Aquarium games that were already on the Wemix platform getting a huge boost when Mirror 4 was launched globally. It's not necessarily a guarantee of what will happen in the future, of course, and this is not financial advice. They will never get our financial advice. Precious. Now this trailer is not actually a trailer of the new game, as this is footage that was used to advertise Blade 2, but I'm sure we'll be seeing many recurring themes as it is a trilogy. I was also wondering if they would even make a whole new game, or just attach the mobile version to the Wii Mix blockchain and release it globally, like they did with Mirror 4. We have to hold on for more details, but let's enjoy some trailers and Gameplay footage of Blade 2 to get a feel for the theme, and possibly some returning characters from the second game. Can 
성적을 많이 남겼네요. Game devs. You have to stop doing this. Oh, this is not okay. You can't just show more boob by removing the nipples. Nipples are the only thing that separate boobs from asses. Stop doing this. We are, we are definitely in the 20 to 30% areola region here. Why is she so wet? Did, did it just stop raining? I swear, if I squint just right, I can see the reflection of my younger self masturbating last night. Please include a wetness slider, as this is totally immersion breaking. I, I want to stop playing and, and just get my character a towel. <laughs> Sorry, Mario, but our princess is in another castle.
<laughs> so obviously day one we lock in sexy pit with the cute ferret that's a given don't even know why i mean we're talking about it here because it goes without saying while the assassin and wizard appear to have amazing assets the lack of nipples and excessive skin moisture are deal breakers i mean you have to leave something to the rule 34 kids Besides, if someone was sweating profusely like that all of the time, you know they have to smell like shit. At least the waifu pit has an excuse because of the ferret. I'm not going to talk about the warrior or the puncher guy because they probably won't even make it into the new version of the game. And even if they did, I doubt I would notice. To be honest, it seems weird that the next game would be an action RPG as it seems to directly compete with another game on the Wii Mix platform already called Crypt Tornado from the same genre. The reason why I suspect this game may be a port from the second version is because the studio is already working on another early access game which would require many more resources in addition to maintaining their other games as a service and creating an entirely new game on top of that. One important distinction is that there are already two versions of this game out now. The original was released in the East for mobile devices, and then there was a Nintendo Switch port. They fixed the title to The Return of Evil for that one, but they also removed the cash shop, added difficulty levels to the campaign, and took out the PvP functionality, making it a much less playable version of the game while giving it a visual upgrade. That is why I would assume they're going to re-release the Blade 2 core game with the multiplayer elements added back in and brand it as Blade Reaction, or just Blade Re for short. If you're a fan of Diablo or Path of Exile like dungeon crawlers who are in love with random loot drops, then you may want to keep your eye out for this one in 2022. I know I will be. Peace.